Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. Now, first off, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having some notes for my lives and I want to kind of, it sounds different, but like just smaller notes and be less prepared because I'm going to get some conversations across that I've had with clients that I've had with people around me recently. And I want to share them with you because I really truly believe that, um, if I get these across the right way, you're going to be able to improve your health, not in a pushy sales way or anything like that. But if I truly tell you what conversations I've been having, you can then implement these things and actually improve your health as well. Now, the big conversation that I've been having. I've got a squeaky chair. don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> that is annoying. Need to get some, uh, some spray uh, oil on this chair. The conversation I had last week, and I'm sure this conversation will be replayed over the next few weeks multiple times, not just here in the UK, uh, to be fair, here in the UK, we've just had fireworks night, there's Halloween, um, we won't be celebrating Thanksgiving, some people will, but then still for some reason there's Black Friday that goes on, and Cyber Monday, you know, hashtag marketing, but the Christmas period comes up and it jumps upon us pretty much so quickly we're getting bombarded by commercial after commercial now whether you like the commercials whether you don't whether you're getting your christmas trees up whether you're not wherever you look there's decorations there's cards there's everything in there we've got the spice christmas spice cinnamon spice in starbucks and costa and all these different things and then in the us there's thanksgiving coming up and then you actually do have your black friday and your cyber monday and everything like that and one of the things that can be really, really hard to get our head around is how do we actually improve our health at this time? Because so many times I see people that just simply stop. And I've spoke with someone, someone I spoke to in the past, and he'll know who he is if he watches this video, uh, was it kind of stayed with me that we started working in the January, but we spoke, I believe it was around the end of November. And he said that always just go for it from the start of December to the end of December. Now, I hope that he's changed at the moment. In fact, he looks so much healthier. If you know who you are, I'm actually like, it's awesome to see the transformation you've made. But when he signed up, he said that I'm going to start in January. And then he paid for some months up front and so on. But he always used to put on like 20, 25 pounds of like going so hard through December. And that's where we have to look at what else is going on in our lives. What other stresses are going on in our lives? But regardless of the time of the year something that we have to look at is that if we are too restrictive in our nutrition if we are too overly obsessed with our training believe me i have been there i remember christmas times where i wouldn't have even have a roast dinner or i wouldn't have any treats as such and then it would go over to easter with no easter eggs my birthday with no cake all those times when i was overly overly obsessed that is not the way in my opinion to live the life and as much as I learned a lot of discipline, a lot of discipline in my competitive bodybuilding days, I, I'm actually really proud to say that I'm not in that place and I would not push clients to be in that place either. So um, just making sure that the audio is coming through. There we go. It is coming through. And what we have to look at is how can we get some movement forward? What are the habits we can move forward with? Because there will always be events. So I'm a Freemason. And from September to November, we have a night where once a month we meet up and there's a free course meal. Now, if I was in that mentality of all or nothing, I would not have that meal. There are some adaptations I have. I don't like the taste of alcohol, not because of health reasons. I just don't like the taste of alcohol. So that's a handy thing to have. But that's one night. Then there may be birthdays that crop up. I've just mentioned Easter, summer barbecues. Then you'll have things like, um, I don't know, there might be bank holidays here in the UK or like public holidays in the US. There's going to be things that come up all year round, not just at Christmas. There will always be hurdles. There'll be stressful periods where you're going through a launch in your business. And the trick is to look at, now, at the gym that I go to, awesome, awesome gym, but at the top it says, uh, just above the squat rack, 100% all or nothing. Now, that mentality is probably one of the biggest things I see holding people back. 
where they go for all of it. And if they can't get all of it, they get nothing. That's one of the reasons that so many entrepreneurs are super successful in business. But if we push that over to our health, we look, we want to smash this um, MMA side of things, go and get some Brazilian jiu-jitsu, we can get our belt going up. We want to make sure we run longer. We want to make sure we are doing all this fasting techniques or going keto or vegan, or we go down the 75 hard route. And it doesn't really work with the lifestyle, with the demands that we want to put on our body. And how do we actually change this over Christmas time? Well, it's first off having the right mentality, right mentality, in my opinion, throughout the year. But when it comes to the festive season and Christmas time, it's about being realistic with your goals. If you are going to be going to a party every single week, and I get that this year, hopefully there's going to be more gatherings than there were last year. But if you're going to go to a party every single week, then your fat loss goal, if that is the goal, maybe we should look to maintain for a little bit. Or how do we still improve our health? Well, you're not at the party all day long. So what do we do those other days? How do we get consistent with those other days? Because even if you had a party every week and some meals off plan every single week, you could still drop fat if you are following those other behaviors. Because if you focus on things that are going to lower your bloat, if you suffer from symptoms of IBS or IBD or anything like that, or if you're struggling with sleep, if you focus on things that are going to help you improve your sleep, you can still enjoy these other times and we can still improve your health. So it's looking at putting things into perspective because so many times, and I'm not saying this in a sign up, buy my shit or anything like that. I'm saying this just from experience. So many times people end up just saying, I can't do everything. So I will do nothing over the Christmas period. And they look at the scales beforehand and they think, oh, great. I've got 10 pounds to lose. I will do that after the Christmas period. Now I'm using weight loss as kind of the big marker here. When in reality, like I like to focus on the deeper things because that's what helps with sustainable health and sustainably making us lose weight. But everyone seems to go by, I need to lose 10 pounds, 15 or 20 pounds. It's, it's a consistent marker for people to have. But you could say, look, I'm going to wait till January. And you keep your eye off the goal, even just like slightly on the side. It's in our vision. And you end up that come January, you haven't got 10 pounds to lose because you haven't just done the minimum through this time you've done zero in fact you've probably eaten more than you would have done and you haven't enjoyed it more than you would have done and then come january your inflammation is really really high so if you had problems with your joints it's even worse now come january your sleep is in an even worse position come january your joints just really really hurt you you have chronic fatigue your skin is really bad And then you end up saying, look, hey, I'm going to smash it this January. And you have this, again, all or nothing mentality where you go hard and then potentially fall off again. It's where we end up going this yo-yo and yo-yo and yo-yo. And believe me, I'm pretty certain you know what I'm talking about. And that's where we kind of have to switch things around. How can we still move forward? I've got 10 pounds to lose now. Do I still want 10 pounds to lose in January? Could we could move that to like nine pounds, eight pounds, seven pounds, and so on with small, consistent behaviors and moving you forward one single day at a time. It's what my course is all about, the one day body upgrade. It's what my book is all about, the one day body upgrade, is that if we can do one day, we can do two. It's not as in losing 20 pounds in one day. It's just simply looking at your health one single day at a time. And today's 100% consistency is going to be different to tomorrow's 100% consistency which is going to be different to the next day's 100% consistency. Every single day is an individual and we attack it slightly differently. And that's where it comes down to the choice. So can you actually improve your health over the festive season? Yes, you can. Absolutely can do. Now, would you stick to that high level of weight loss goal? Maybe we should just change it and adjust our perception. What do we truly want? Do we still want to be able to go out and enjoy ourselves, have those drinks, have that mulled wine, have those mince pies, have those things that we love around this time of the year? Cinnamon on top of cinnamon on top of cinnamon, if that's your thing. We want to be able to enjoy that. So maybe we don't have as strict a goal, but we still have these goals to keep our health moving forward. So when it comes to after the festive season, 
we're not having twice as much weight to lose. We're not having twice as many problems with our sleep. We're not having twice as many problems with bloatedness or anything like that. We can move forward. And that's where it comes to making that decision. How can I stay hydrated on those days when, um, when I am having those nights out? How can I just keep my hydration half decent? How can I keep my movement half decent? Yeah, you're going to be dancing on the dance floor. Just go and get your boogie on and everything like that. How can I make my sleep as consistent as possible throughout? And how can I truly live at this time but not make my health worse? Because it is truly, truly possible to do that. And if you do need help with that, you know exactly where I am. So drop me a message, put a comment here or anything like that, but get in touch and let's see what we can do to help you move your health forward right now. If you're interested in the one day body upgrade, drop me a message for that and we will get you some more details so you can move forward with your health. Thank you for watching.